what's going on, people? It's your boy, Brass Taps in this bitch. You already know. You already know. Last weekend before Christmas, hope you got your presents ready. Hope you got the red panties under the Christmas tree. Hope it's all set. Hope you're ready to go. Hope it's going to be red panty night from now until the new year. Yeah, I find the best way of waking up in 2020, or any new year for that matter, is just coming at the same time with your partner. I think that's the best way. Orgasms at 12.01. Which means, in my case, I'd probably be having sex for one minute. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as everyone's having a great time, it's a great thing. Now, Joker 4K, 4K Blu-ray. The review is here. I've got this bad boy, watch this bad boy, watched it in iTunes 4K, watched it in Blu-ray 4K, watched it in 1080p. I'm gonna give you my thoughts and how it compares to everything. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to give you my review on the movie because I watched it in the theatre and there already is a review on the movie which I'm going to put a card up here somewhere so you can check it out. I'll also leave uh, a link at the end for my Joker review. But long story short, loved it. Great movie. Fantastic. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix is as good a Joker as Heath Ledger but for totally different reasons. Uh, I think this movie's great. Wouldn't mind a sequel. I know there are talks of it and uh yeah shot in 5k i believe visual effects aren't any uh digital intermediate 4k dolby atmos sound so you got a full screen you ain't got the black bars well you might have a little black bars up top and at the bottom big real estate there's people who like the cinematic black bars it's not me not me. You know, if you've got a 65 or a 75 or a 77 or an 85 inch screen, you want to see the movie on that pitch. The whole movie. You want the whole real estate. You want the whole canvas in this pitch. And that's exactly what you get here. I watched the 1080p. Good looking disc, I ain't gonna lie to you. Saw the iTunes 4K version. Thought that was a great step up. Thought it was fantastic. Looked really, really good. But we're here for the 4K Blu-ray. So how does it stack up? It looks amazing looks amazing i was expecting some grain filled movie uh because of the look you know the gritty kind of feel of the movie but it is a 4k pristine clean there may be a little grain here and there it, it's weird because it's clean it's crispy and it's tasty 4k greatness but there is a filmic feel to it as well can't put my finger on it but it's beautiful looking Razor sharp detail, Joaquin Phoenix's hair, textures on the clothing. Robert De Niro got a few more wrinkles, I ain't gonna lie to you. I saw the Irishman, he looked old there, but with the 4K hair, he looked just as old hair. I don't know what to say to you. The kid's taking a sign, you see him running, running through Gotham, and you see all this beautiful scenery, beautiful scenery. Just, just going past textures on the walls, you see him run past stores, shops, the light reflecting off the windows as he's running past, coming down the alleyway, he getting fucked up, oh shit. The cinematography on this movie is gorgeous. It's a 4K extravaganza. Looks fantastic, but still preserving that filmic feel. There is great three-dimensional pop in here as well. Even in indoor scenes, you got you got Art Fleck talking to uh, Robert De Niro. Damn, you feel great foreground, great background, great space towards characters. Because there are a lot of there are a lot of 4K Blu-rays that look great, but there's not that much depth to it. This has really, really good depth to it. When you got the establishing shot, even when Joker's in the apartment with the midget. I ain't gonna say no more because there are some people who still haven't watched it. You just, a great sense of scope. You know, I can't explain it. It's great 3D pop in this, it really is. Black levels are great, shadow detail is also great. In a comparison with how this stacks up to the uh, iTunes 4K, I've noticed usually iTunes Digital is very, very close to 4K, but where you really start noticing the differences is with the full screen presentations. When it's full screen, you notice a lot more detail on the physical disc and especially in dark scenes. It's the dark scenes where the 4K really shines and close-ups as well. The 4K has just got that extra added oomph. It's the extra data in this bitch. This is a this is a 66 gig disc. It slaps the boot a right off the 1080p and it gives the 4K digital a run for its money as well. This is the version to get. But hey, you want to know what the HDR is like? You're the Joaquin Phoenix Joker, right? And you're in Arkham Asylum killing psychiatrists and whatnot. They've got to lock you down and they say, you know what? We need to get you a new psychiatrist. And in comes Margot Robbie. 
as your psychiatrist. Do I need to say any more? Suicide Squad, do I need to say any more? You guys fall in love? She's finding you mesmerizing, interesting, witty, and a little weird. Don't underestimate weird guys and funny guys. Weird and funny guys, irrespective of how they look, will laugh their way right into a girl's panties. 100%. You having some crazy sex sessions in Arkham Asylum? Shit. Booty banging against the wall and shit? Oh, shit. Crazy karma switch positions? Oh, shit. That's what the HDR is like. I kind of remember, I do remember how it looked like in the theatre. And this blows, especially my, the, where I watched it, right out of the water. Sharp detail and great colours, wider colours. Even on the Joker's suit, you've got the purple. Even his face paint, a little bit more nuances in the colour than, you, than you're going to see on the 1080p. i got to say, this generation, it's always been more about the HDR. That really shows a huge difference. But with this specific disc, you're getting very noticeable extra detail and very, very noticeable colours popping off the screen. Very wide colours little nuances and colours that uh, 1080p is not going to pick up. It really looks damn good. Darks are very dark, brights are very bright. Now it's not an overly bright disc, but daytime shots look very bright. And once again, nighttime shots look very dark, no black crush, great vibrancy, and a very, very pleasing image. Now if your girl's watching this with you, she can appreciate the colour, she can appreciate Joachim's performance, but if she doesn't, for some stupid reason, then you, my friends, are dating Stevie Wonder. Or Ray Charles, pick one. But let's just say it doesn't work. You tell your girl to sit on the woofer and see what happens. You know what's gonna happen? The bootay is gonna be jumping, because what this release has in spades is surround sound. Great, enveloping surround sound. Immersive as hell. Doesn't have very many overhead sounds there there may be a couple here and there i remember hearing some very subtle sounds of quite i can't quite pinpoint where they were but there was nothing throughout there wasn't much up top which blew me away but what did is just the subtleties dialogue the sense of scope in the atmos sound atmosphere dripping with atmosphere it's amazing how much you hear in silence that's what this disc does and when the music kicks in when you got joker dancing on the steps with that very controversial track playing in the background. I ain't gonna say too much about it, but that shit's thumping. Speaker gonna be thumping. Boutte gonna be thumping. When they're both together, they're vibrating, they're in sync. The vibrations are in sync. Then she's gonna look at you and say, are you in sync, baby? Then you look at her dead in the eye and you say, yeah, baby. You can only imagine what happens next. I'm not gonna say anything more about it. I'm not gonna score this because this just gets the brass tax seal of approval. It is that good. Some of you may look at this and say it's reference. I don't think it's quite reference. Not quite, but it is damn, damn good. The physical disc is the version to get. I know I know people are saying physical discs are dying, and to be honest, the numbers do support it. But it's by far the best version to get. If you got look, if you got the iTunes and you're happy with digital, stick with that. But you are gonna notice the detail, especially if you've got a big screen, and the fact that it's full screen is a lot more noticeable. Guys, I'm going to leave some Amazon links. Pick it up. Okay, if you go through that, costs you nothing extra, but Amazon kick back satin for your boy. It's Christmas, goddammit. All right, guys. You take care. Catch you next time.